Hey nieces and nephews, this is Uncle Chris, and welcome to the Slider Challenge! It's rainy and overcast here in Chicago. So what am I gonna do? Challenge other YouTubers to a slider challenge. I challenge you, city girl, and I challenge you, mama bird. Come up with a unique slider recipe. Today, I'm doing, ooh, wild hair, and <laughs> no, I'm doing black bean sliders. It's not only a delicious treat, it is a way to stretch your meat and dollar budget. Let me show you how we do it. I'm going to show you the ingredients, and I'm going to show you what I do. All right, nieces and nephews, I've got over here, my skillet has about an inch of water in it. Okay, that's gone. I've got some onions, about three of them chopped up here, and I've got a pound of ground beef right here. The first thing, oh, and I got my oil going from the french fries. First thing I'm going to do, put my onions into my water. That's going to be the start for my sliders to cook. Then I'm going to take some black pepper and go over my onions. I'm going to put my ground beef right here in my bowl. I'm going to show you why I'm doing that in just a second. How's everybody doing out there? Oh, shout out to Mohammed. Uh, I'm told, someone told me, give my brother a shout out. Muhammad, hey. <laughs> so, Muhammad, I take it you watch the show too. I hope so. Let me throw this away. And wash my hands. Now, I'm going to just set this over here and here so you guys can see. I've also got some black beans. This is my meat. My potato masher. My onion powder. My black pepper and a jar of pickles. And I also got some ketchup. <laughs> but that's in the refrigerator. Now, first things first. I want to smash the meat up a little bit, okay? Let me do this so you can see. I want to add in about a teaspoon of onion powder. Yes, I'm heavy handed. Mr. Mystery Man, and I'm going to do the same with the pepper. Now, at this point, I'm going to add some saison. You can do, use this, or you can use taco seasoning. I'm using one packet. Okay. Ooh, that oil sounds ready for the french fries. I'm going to smash this meat around and get it all mixed together. Ooh, I'm having fun with the bowl today. But that's because I'm trying to stay out the way of the camera so you guys can see. Otherwise, I'd have a much better grip on this bowl. Now, take some of your black beans and put them in here at a time. I'm going to end up using this whole can because I got some more stuff in there. Some more meat. I'm going to make some more of these because I'm going to have a few people over today. Okay, now you see how this is going to stretch your meat? Put some more in there. Now, we're going to smash these up till the meat is combined with the beans. All right, our beans and our meat mixture has been totally combined. Now, of course, you're going to see some of the beans in here, but that's all right. It tastes good. <laughs> now, I'm gonna put our fries in. I'm gonna put them in slowly, y'all, okay? Because the grease is hot and you don't want it to go over the pot. Put them in slow, slide them in. Slide them in, slide them in, okay? I'm gonna turn them on, fire a bit. So they start really going. When you got really hot grease, you all remember, Never just put something in there, especially if it's cold. The grease will come all out. You have a grease fire. You don't want that. Okay. 
Uh, this is going to be fine. I'm just getting them going. Now, you see how over here, let's get a better look. See how the water is bubbling under the onions? Roll up your sleeves. Grab you some meat. Okay. Now, these don't have to be pressed down as thin, but do not make them thick. Okay. Lay them over top of the onions. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn my fire up to medium. Cover this and wash my hands. Be right back. Add you a cover. Let these steam for at least 10 to 15 minutes or until they are completely done. Okay. Oh, also, once they're done, top your cheese and put your top back on. See you back in about 15 minutes. Okay, my french fries are done. So I'm going to take those out. Mm -hmm. I did them potato wedge style, y'all. I think I should let them brown a little more. Nah. They're done. And I don't want them too hard. And while those are hot, little onion powder on them, little black pepper, some seasoning on. Just use the seasoning of your choice, preferably uh, no salt or low sodium. Give them a shake. All right. Now, to go with our Sliders, which I want to show you how they're doing right now. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to make a peach shake. You know how they have those specialty flavors during the summer? Well, I'm going to show you how to make one. Come over here. I got some frozen peaches. This recipe is real simple, y'all. Okay. I'm popping it out of the container, putting it in here. Now I might chop these up a little more because it might be hard for the blender to uh, chop this up. So I'll be right back. But the idea, you put it in here. I got some sugar and I got some milk and just blend it together and you will have a peach shake. Be right back. Whew. Okay, I've chopped up my frozen peach. See? <laughs> I've chopped up my frozen peaches. Oh, I'm going to put in, put as much sugar as you want. I put in uh, about a fourth cup. I want to say maybe a little more because I have a sweet tooth. But that's less than the sugar in those shakes you buy at the fast food place. I'll tell you that. Now I'm going to put some milk in here. Yes, I used half and half. Don't judge me. <laughs> but you use milk. I'm just doing a really rich shake today because this is my cheat day. Okay. I'm a little crazy, y'all. I'm blending up. All right. And just like that, you got a peach shake. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back over here because our sliders should be done by now. Lovely. <laughs> now I'm going to put some cheese on mine. You do not have to do the do them the way you want to, but I love my sliders with cheese. And these are so cool. They're almost like a loose meat burger, but it's a slider. And it has that slider taste because of the steamed onions, y'all. It's really good. Now, we're going to put this back on, turn the fire off, let that steam for about a minute, and, and build our burgers. Oh, 
Yes, nieces and nephews. Let's get our burgers out. And some onions. Put them right on our buns here. All right. Put another one right here. Actually, I want the smaller one. Oh, yeah. Put that here. Get you some onions. All right. Now, I'm gonna get me some pickles, just like they do at the restaurant. Put some on the side here, and we'll put them on top. We're gonna put on some ketchup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put our fries right here. Put the tops on our burgers. Open up our shake. Get you a fancy glass of your choice. Pour that goodness right in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, nieces and nephews. Now, tell me that ain't pretty. Tell me that ain't pretty. Mmm. These are so good. I want you to try them. I'm about to go chow down. And this shake, oh yeah, oh yeah, wait, come here, come here. It was worth the struggle. <laughs> I hope you try this. Now, Mama Bird, city girl, come up with some interesting ideas for your sliders. I challenge you. And Muhammad, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Muhammad, try these, okay? Do you cook? Let me know. Write to me, all right? I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Write to me at Uncle Chris, the Food Pantry Chef at gmail.com. And on a serious note, I love you guys. All right. We're going to have a food pantry run coming up for you and something very special, a pride show. Yes. Because this channel is about love and acceptance for all of my nieces and nephews. I don't care who you love, what you love, what shape you are, what color you are. Love is always in my heart for you. All right. Bye-bye, y'all. Oh, Chris, what you got cooking? Smell